They're asking me what has changed in Floyd. Why does he look like he can overtrain? What is that? Now, what does that sound like? And, of course, they threw Manny in there. But Manny ain't training like Floyd. Nah, Jack. It was how come Floyd seems like he can overtrain. Manny's not training hard enough. I'm just telling you what the fucking comments say out here. Manny's not training hard enough. Floyd is overtraining. So that means Floyd looks like he wants it more. And why is that? You remember the Shane Mosley fight? That, that fight, or that night lives in infamy. I'm not talking about the fight when it happened. I'm talking about when he challenged Floyd. When he challenged Floyd, he jumped in the ring. What did Floyd say? It was on a special night, September 19th, 2009, when he fought Marquez. Shane Mosley jumped in the ring right after. Try to try to beast mode my nigga Floyd, didn't he? Try to bum rush him. They say, yo, the world wanna see it, why don't you fight me? What Floyd say to him? Respect me as a man. No, 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 no. Fuck boxing. You gonna respect me as a man, right? You talking to a man who has put his entire existence in the boxing. I don't even know. Nate, answer this question if y'all know so much. What fighter has been in the fucking ring before he was two years old? I'll wait. Go ahead. Answer that for me. Because you don't got none. That's true. Andre Ward started at seven. I think Mosey started at six. Um, I don't even know if motherfuckers started at five. Where Floyd was already hitting the speed bag like a grown man at four. I don't have to. Hey, hey. I don't have to lie, man. Go talk to these professional trainers and these motherfuckers who have actually watched Floyd train. <laughs> you don't have to hear it from me. I didn't come up with the story. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's cool. You guys will run with the lie, but you don't want to. You don't want to really take in the down, the diehard facts, which is you guys try to try to play Floyd. Mosley try to play Floyd, right? Now you guys aren't Mosley. I'm talking to you fans. You guys aren't Mosley. You guys aren't, you know, professional boxer, three-time world champion. And you damn sure ain't jumping in the ring to say anything to Floyd because you know damn well you motherfuckers are scared of shit. It's true. Y'all niggas know. Niggas are scared to death. You see Floyd, you probably just, mouth just be open, starstruck, just jaw drop. You can't move. That's what probably happened if you saw Floyd. Not know if you gay runner, you ain't, you wouldn't say none of that shit. None of that. Because when you see him out there, you don't hear none of that being said, man. On some real shit. You don't hear none of that craziness being said. Let's keep going. A little bit after that Shane fight, people started saying Floyd was ducking Shane. I remember this. I remember it like it was yesterday. Floyd took the fight. Floyd has stepped up to every single plate that you guys have claimed he wasn't ready to bat at. You said he was scared of Cotto. He beat the shit out of Cotto in his own weight class. He wasn't ever going to face De La Hoya. What happened? Said he was scared of fucking Mosey. What happened? He called out Mosey way back when. And, and I, I know a lot of people already know that. When Floyd was way down in weight. And um, I'm, I'm thinking 135. Mosey was at 135 also. Mosey said his tooth hurt. He don't want to fight. He pretty much ducked Floyd. Floyd called Mosey out way before the fight that you guys saw took actually took place. So... Like I said, fans, you guys are not Mosley. You guys are not a professional fighter. You can't get your word in on floor. The only thing you can do is really comment, make a video, talk shit. Cool. The thing is, people, you guys win with this lie for so long. People started believing it. Believing it so much, it got all the way back to Floyd. Mm -hmm. You guys ain't think you had a voice. You have a voice, you know? To the point, what Floyd said. Floyd responded in a broad in a broad fashion for instance he could have easily said you guys said um floyd's scared you know what i mean you guys can say that what i want y'all won't say that to my face he could have came off on some d block shit but he didn't do that he came in there on some well i don't want to watch a uh, a scared fighter i don't want to watch you know anybody that's not on my level excuse me anybody that's i'm scared no who wants to watch a scared fighter pretty much saying you know what the fuck are y'all watching me for if I'm so scared? Pretty much, right? And y'all still tune in, pay the seventy dollars, shut the fuck up. It's cool. But now, the fight's here. Pacquiao's here, man. I'm I'm kicking my feet up because I feel deep down inside. I don't have to prove nothing to you, fans. I don't have to, and neither does Floyd. 
You know, I don't have to make a prediction. You guys know where the fuck I stand. I don't have to talk about why he's going so ham in the ring. You guys should already know this. Right? Because you fans have been so loud. Your roar has been so big. I think... Same thing when y'all come on my YouTube channel and, you know, Black Boy this and Plantation that, right? Monkey this, right? At, at first, I took it a little personal. Back in the day, I would respond to everybody in the fucking comment section. Are you kidding me? Until I realized, huh, you know, I, I just can't, I can't respond to everybody. It's not possible. There's too many motherfuckers now. Same thing with Floyd. I can't, I can't respond to all you. So what I'm what I'm gonna do is is let my actions speak for me. I'm gonna take this Mosey fight and beat the share of him. Not only beat the share of him, show you that I could take a punch, which is another thing you guys were saying about Floyd. He can't take a punch. That Mosey fight happened, what Oscar De La Hoya say? Floyd might as well be, he might just be the best of all time. Cause Oscar was convinced. That man should have went down <laughs> in the Mosey. Hey, hey, it's true. Now, this is Oscar. Y'all never shit on Oscar, right? Oscar in his prime was the fucking man. He was a beast, if y'all don't know about him. Maybe because he was going against guys that people knew that he was going to win. I'm just saying what the motherfucking public's been saying. But in the same sense, if you got Oscar, who don't like Floyd. He don't like Floyd. Probably because he gets all that money off of Floyd. Not anymore. But he don't like Floyd. You mean to tell me this man is lying about Floyd being the best of all time? He ain't say top three. He ain't say top five. The, and not when he fought him. It's not like Oscar fought Floyd and Oscar said, all right, he might be the best of all time. No. He had to see it from another perspective. Let me see Floyd actually get rocked. And Floyd did. Floyd got blasted. Didn't it? Yep. Y'all fans laughed about it. Y'all joked about it. You guys still have it on recycle. Y'all know how y'all get down, man. Now, let's get, let's, <laughs> as my boy Ash would say, shout out to Ashy Knuckles. If you don't know about him, go check him out. It's your boy Ash. Go check out Ash. That's my dude. As Ash would say, let's make it make sense. For instance, I can't respond to all you guys, correct? So what Floyd would do is... Now that the fight's here, the, the fight has been finally made, right? Don't act like Floyd hasn't been keeping in the back of his mind every single thing that was said about him. Every single thing. You're talking about a man who gave his life to this sport more than any of us on this motherfucking YouTube. Any of us. Combined. None of us have been here for that fucking long or in the sport the way he has been. Hey. Just call it how it is. Now, I think Floyd is not only pissed off at you fans because this whole time you guys have been dogging him. If he loses this fight, you guys will say that everything he has worked for means nothing. Correct? Correct? It's true. You guys will take away everything this man has accomplished. So... <laughs> When you see Floyd in overdrive in that gym, just just remember he's thinking about you. Don't be surprised if he goes in and takes this personal. I think it's already too late. You fans have been too loud. You wanted the spotlight, didn't you? You got it. Floyd is going to go in this fight and literally separate himself from everybody. Not just Pacquiao. We're already separated from him. Why? He's been floored. Way before. We ain't even talking about the Marquez fight. He's been knocked out before. Don't make me go get the rewind. I will go get that shit. Bottom line shows you. Floyd is going to take everything. Every little. Every. You know what I mean people. <laughs> you know what I mean. Interviews I have seen. That people have gone up to Floyd. And asked him the same. How many times. Do you think people asked Floyd. About the Pacquiao fight. Before it was made. This fight's been going on for about six years. People have been wanting to see this fight. Seven years now. How many times do you think Floyd had to answer that dumb ass question? When the proof is in the pudding. He can't see Floyd. He ain't got no motherfucking timing like that. Damn sure ain't got no defense like that. Foot movement, okay. But he lunges too much. And he's very... Oh, I'm not... That, we're going to say that for the prediction. Anyway. 
I think when you see Floyd training, you're looking at the man for the 17 year veteran. You're looking at the dude who said that it couldn't be done. You're looking at the man who, who got played out of 25 million and damn sure will make sure it won't happen again. You're looking at the man who knows nothing in life besides just winning. And he will repeat it again. Not just, not just like, for instance, <laughs> I'm trying to, let me get an analogy. Let me get an analogy. I play my boy in ball, right? He's nicer than me. Granted, he's nice, right? I'll slack around when I play other players, right? It's a joke, okay? They know if I go against this dude every now and then, I'll get a little lucky. But majority of the time, he'll beat me. But when I go against him, because the hype is there, everybody's watching. We want to see you two go one-on-one. -on -one. I'll go against them. I put my game face on. I try to make sure every single move is sharp. Everything is crisp, you know? No mistakes, you know? Not not like I would do if I was facing another fighter. I would make sure every little thing that you do, I'm trying to capitalize on. And I think that's what's going to happen in this fight. Floyd is going to... He is already. I keep saying he's going to, but this fight is personal. He is. He's taking this fight personal you guys have have stepped beyond your boundaries a little too much here. you guys are way way beyond the surface it's cool i don't mind it you know because this is the ass whooping that i've been dreaming of for the longest even though the you know the the talking the shit talking isn't there right now floyd ain't talking shit pacquiao ain't talking shit that's cool because the body language tells everything you don't think he's hitting that bag every single time thinking pacquiao's on the other end are you kidding me or one of these dumbass reporters or fans or people who have been doubting this man's legacy? Why is Floyd the one who can actually be up there with the Tommy Hearns? You can't say Pacquiao versus no Tommy Hearns? Get the fuck out of here. You can't say no motherfucking Pacquiao versus Leonard, but no. You can say Floyd against Leonard. You can say Floyd against Hearns. Why? Because that man is that great. It's the truth. You would never mention no Pacquiao versus Canelo. But what happened? Floyd takes a fight just like that. Has some of you people on YouTube actually saying that he will never take that fight. I was looking at it like, are you kidding me? A landslide, Canelo. I knew it before the fight was made. I knew it. You know them niggas ain't got, they ain't slick like the, the best cat-like reflexes in the game. Who else has cat-like reflexes like Floyd? At this age, that head snaps back so... <laughs> It's perfection in the ring, man. And you're going to see it May 2nd. I don't even know if Floyd's really going to get hurt in this fight, now that I think about it. He's going to be, I think, too careful. He's going to he's gonna let Pacquiao try to get off. You know he's a counterpuncher, so he's going to wait for his shots to come, and then Floyd's going to react over him. The defense, you saw if you, like I said, go watch Ashy Knuckles' video. He'll show you how to get past the jab. And, of course, what I love the most, what I love the most is Floyd's favorite punch is the straight right hand. I mean, I love the jab to pull counter, but what I'm saying is his most powerful punch, obviously, is the straight right hand. And you saw the Ortiz fight, how he punched and then ducked under, hit him and then ducked under. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but don't act like Pacquiao ain't going to be eating gloves. He's not going to be eating that right hand. That's how you beat a southpaw. He beat the shit out of Zab with that right hand. That, that Think about it. I have to beat you, right? The only way I can beat you is using the best thing in my arsenal. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Which means I have a real good chance not just beating you, but dominating you. You see what I mean? Watch Floyd. Watch. Pacquiao's never even fought somebody with a stiff jab in their face, in his face, all night long. A nice jab. You know, I love the jab, man. Love the jab. Nobody has actually, and I, I give it to Floyd too, nobody's actually gave a jab consistently all night long to Floyd. But the same thing is Floyd's jab is better than his opponent's. That's why you don't see it like that. You're like, oh, he ain't used a jab tonight. That's because Floyd nullified the jab. How you nullify a jab? Excuse me. I'm going to say that for Ashy. Ashy know what it is, man. He nullified Zab's jab, and he explained that in his video. I'm not going to take any credit from that shit. You go watch his video. He'll show you how to nullify. Look at this training. Are you kidding me? Look at this training right here. Where's Pacquiao doing any type of defense? Not fucking cockroach holding up the fucking mitts and Pacquiao just literally hitting one, two, one, two. That's, that's not. Oh, man.
You see how it gets personal? You see how it, it, it bothers me? Literally. You're not a diehard fan. You don't love this sport as much as I do. You can say you do, but you don't. How come nobody's asking Floyd about other fights that are coming up? Real good fights that we just don't know the outcome to. I'm still, I, I got Terrence Crawford for now, but I'm a little stuck on Crawford versus DeLorme. You know? What do you think about, you know, like, there are some fights that are out there that you guys wasted all this time about Pacquiao on. You guys could have easily you didn't have to you didn't have to bring such a raft to actually think that Floyd wasn't gonna step up to the plate and fight the guy that you think he is and you know he's scared of. That's not That's not Floyd, man. And years and years have showed that that's not how the nigga gets down. It's cool if you guys actually really feel that the man is scared. Cause in my opinion, he's stepped up against every single one. Fights nothing but the young, hungry champions, <laughs> and makes them know that he's not on the same level as Floyd. It was it was clarified that night when he beat Marquez. It showed. It, it told me. I don't care what you say. It told me right then and there that Pacquiao cannot sit with Floyd. No way, no how. You see the height difference already. And look at Floyd at the press conference. Pacquiao at the weigh-in or um, the the face-off. Look at Pacquiao closely. Little, just a little bit. He wanted to grin just a little. He's laughed at every single press conference for the past seven times, right? No, he's getting a, a good paycheck. Well, not enough since Floyd is finally paying his taxes. I said it. That's right. Floyd Mayweather is paying this motherfucker's taxes. You're lucky the alarm hit, you fucking slobs, or I'll still be going in on you. Till next time, man. D block. It's getting personal around here. Don't act like it ain't gonna get personal. Mm-hmm.